You are both doing incredible work. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm a 22 year old male. I came out to my friends and family about being bisexual about one year ago. Since then, however, I still feel very isolated. My friends, etc., are fantastic, but no one close to me is LGBT, and I haven't got the confidence to go to LGBT places on my own, meaning that I still kind of feel like I'm not experiencing the side of myself. I know that it would be good to attend LGBT events, etc., but I can't make myself to go on my own. I also still, still feel a little bit scared of gay sex, which I've never been involved in as well, and I don't want to be seen, even though I'm out. I'm just a bit of a mess, really, and I, any help would be really appreciated. Thanks. So, thank, thank you. you so much. Just before we get onto your bit, I just have a few uh, relevant thoughts that I came up with, actually, while you were reading that out. Is that, okay, so today in Pride, in London, it's Pride, right? Which is amazing, and it's really cool, and... Before I moved to London, I was living in Vienna and I was part of a very, very strong queer community and I did all the queer events, I actually performed stand-up comedy at two Vienna Prides in a row. And I moved back to London, I've got great friends here and some of them are LGBTQ and I'm part of like a wonderful scene. But the people I am friends with who are queer don't really want to do these events and I didn't want to go alone. So here I am doing this with my am as like a very valid and important project instead of being at Pride because yeah, it is, it is hard being part of like communal things, especially ones that you're expected to be part of a group when you're by yourself. And like, I think of myself as a reasonably confident person and yet I didn't, I didn't want to do that. And I've been, yeah, out as queer for like a few years now. So I, I totally feel you basically on that. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for touching on this. You know, it's always very, very tricky subjects. And, and even admitting that like, even to this day, one can feel lonely in these sort of occasions. That's like, that's huge. So. Yeah, and it's and it's really hard because like although the queer community is very welcoming, it's also quite like like for example, like I wouldn't feel comfortable taking my boyfriend to these events. So like although there are several queer parties tonight, I don't want to be seen as that straight couple appropriating up spaces. Because although like, you know, you're allowed which to be happens, bisexual, which yeah, happens. Bisexual well. is a real thing and the fear, the idea that people assume that you're straight because mm -hmm. you're in these spaces is not cool and also straight, no, straight I mean, the people, straight couples appropriating yeah, events. Straight people also. appropriating <laughs> events is also a thing. Exactly. Both things are things yeah. and I don't want to be part of that or I don't really seem to be part of that even though I am in fact queer so there's a lot of like yeah even though I'm fortunate enough to have this like great group around me I wouldn't feel comfortable doing pride events with them which is a really sad thing like really you guys should meet up yeah <laughs> but um yeah we could go to pride together <laughs> And yeah. mm -hmm. so, so uh, it seems to me like there are two parts for this particular question. Yes. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, well, we're gonna try and cover them all, but like I'm because I don't know I have bad memories, so I kind of need to kind of write things down and not before. So I kind of I think I already uh, looked before the question and I remember. Uh, so one is um, one is the 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 sort of the, the more the more the more sexual part, and the other one is like how do I go about socializing yeah, the community more in the part. community. Yeah. So my one idea was w with the with the latter one, well, the first one in your actual question, former. Yeah, former. Well, I guess, I don't know. So latter in my, the way, because I put them the other way around. Ah, oh, anyways, I'm sorry, sorry. Former in the question, latter yeah, in your yeah, list. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, it's 2019, though it's really, really, like, LGBTQ plus people are still having to go through an incredible amount of marginalization and violence is on the rise and gosh, I cannot even begin, and yeah, it's really, really dark out there. And yet, you know, on the lib in the liberal sense, uh, there is like more acceptance than that, and like there are more social events that are not necessarily, I would say even five years ago, it would have been like, that's it, you know, just just, just the, the, the queer socializing, or like, you know, the, the gay people, LGBTQ plus people socializing, but now there is like, uh, you know, gay, LGBTQ plus some sort of activity. What I'm trying to say, for instance, again, I'm putting in my like gaming perspective. So in London, there are London gamers, which is G-A-Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're basically a bunch of LGBTQ plus um, nerds, people into video games, and they meet up at Loading Bar, I think every month, you know? And I think you would find a lot of other activities and professions and uh, just communities that have that particular angle to them. But is he, is he somewhere rural where access well, to yeah, physical spaces perhaps. might be harder? I mean. My, my go-to is always online spaces, right? Yeah. Like, there's so many good Facebook but even groups that, even stuff. for that, so like, you can be like, you know, because I don't think that's the only thing that defines you, right? You probably have just like your own activity, something that you're into, you know, some, I mean, your profession, whatever it is. And of course, there will be LGBTQ, LGBTQ plus people in that community. And so you don't have to necessarily define yourself just as queer, you know, you can totally be like, I am myself. 
uh, well, and I have my hobby, hobbies, and I wonder if you could find a community within that. My, okay, I, I totally agree with that, but my thing, which is comes from my own insecurity for stuff, and like with dating women, is that there is no way I would ever hit on a woman in a non-queer specific environment. Like, so even if we met through our mutual love of Jenga, I would not, like, and I didn't know if she was queer or not, but I really fancied her. There is no way I but would, But the queers like, of Jenga, though. If there was the queers of Jenga, yeah. that specific one, but, yeah. like, I don't know, I feel like... Th which also, you shouldn't just... Queers of Jenga. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also shouldn't just go somewhere just to hit on people, ever, in general. No, but I'm, my I point think it's is, more like, of a support thing. I don't think you have to go and, like, hook up with people. It's more like you talk about, you know, your everyday or like your experiences with your parents and that sort of stuff. Or yeah. like your friends. I mean again, yeah, I guess it depends what access do you have you have to these physical spaces and groups. Like and also like something I know from one of my friends who's gay is that like gay men groups are often quite like insular. And there's not like there's often not much overlap between like the gay men scene and like bisexuality, queer, lesbians, the, the broader LGBTQ stuff in general, and I know he in particular finds that quite um, stifling, that he is either in the gay scene with his gay men friends, or he's like in the, the real world which but is that's straight. that's a matter of time, right? That's just like being defensive completely understandably, right? I don't know. I think, I mean, I, think I don't the, think the gay male subculture like is like quite a specifically gay male one in many ways. Well, actually that's, that's the... Arriving to the second point in terms of like uh, the, the the more sexual side of things, um, and that's something. Uh, just wow, did I seriously just do that? I am. Um, am I drunk? Am I that drunk? I'm not that drunk. But there we go. And and that's the culture of grinder. And actually, some um, some uh, books already written about this. Some incredible articles and that. And. Um, the idea that actually it began like fairly innocently and actually then um, you know rejection turns into a loop and then and then there has been like a certain loss of, of empathy and um, that right now things are quite raw in that you know as in like a, there is there is a certain lack of, 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 of I suppose and this is purely statistically speaking, we're not just making, you know, like a... I mean, I have lots of anecdotal to join your statistical... <laughs> yeah, no, no, this just, yeah, yeah. this paper, so whatever, it's just like that there seems to be a... People don't necessarily go to, to grind their four relationships, although people have done, and so I was listening to this, like, uh, 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 BBC podcast where they were um, saying... Um, and again, you know, we're not, we're not scientists, we just say our anecdotal uh, sort of evidence because that's just us and our experience and I'm, I'm hoping to think that's okay um, where they, they weren't going there and they were they were saying I was in the early days and I was lucky enough to just meet someone who literally we would just like meet every Thursday and read books together and like but we're not in a relationship and and um, we're still like six years later they're still an incredible friend of mine you know but they were much older and that sort of stuff but they were like now I, now I look into it and it's a completely different world you know well so, so what, what I'm trying to say, but last yeah. thing, and I really want to, really want to hear it. I have so many thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that, that, like, I don't want you to think like, oh, hey, fuck, I'm, you know, I don't know, I'm bi, or I'm gay, you know, and like, I want to meet people. Hence, I look into, onto Grinder. Oh shit, this is really dark. Hence, uh, I'm never gonna try this again. So, um, I have someone who's very close to me who has like been very involved in Grinder over the last few years, and I don't think you would mind me talking anonymously about this. But um, there are, he has had both, basically, because the thing about Grindr, unlike Tinder and other dating apps, is that you don't have to match in order to start talking to someone. And you will get unsolicited dick pics. Like, oh, they say within the like 30 yeah. seconds. And you will have <laughs> probably, if you're like in an urban area, you will have 50 people messaging you. And it can be very, very overwhelming and an exhausting it's process. It's scary. And scary, and all of the things, because it matches by distance, which is like, and in like meters and stuff. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, the same friend has Continually, and he uses it to this day, has made incredible friends, has moved to a new city and found someone to practice a foreign language with, someone who gave him their fan heater because they were leaving the city he was in and it was 40 degrees as a present, who has let him sleep on their couch while he's looking for a house where he lives. Like, so it's n like, yes, the grinder culture has shifted towards this um, much more sexualized, immediate, immediate, dick, 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 dick attitude but that is really not all you find there and you can find genuinely interesting people and make connections and make friends like he's made more friends 
of grinder than lovers in the That's long really, run. But also in general, people say like I I make more friends of grinder than I do of of any other yeah kind of game communities or whatever. Like, this is the thing because like unlike Tinder, Tinder is just about dating. Grinder is about no. being. Tinder should be about okay. fucking, but, but some annoying people, straight people have ruined it. My point, my, my point is, Grinder is about being gay. Yeah, so and that's what I mean. It's not just about it's not finding stuff. Like it's it was designed as a sex app, and you will get the dick pics. But it's also like genuinely used by a lot, a lot of people. Just like I'm in this city and I'm gay. Who do I meet? And you'd be surprised, even in rural areas, if that's where you are. Like how many people you might stumble across through Grinder. So I would say it's worth investigating, but steal yourself against the barrage of potential exhausting totally so don't get sta- scared by the by the bad bits but perhaps that's something worth investigating and yet um you don't completely write off the entire platform because mm. there will be a lot of unsolicited yeah. dick pics and, and weirdness but also don't also don't don't do it if you don't want to yeah yeah definitely if it, like if that's crossing a line for you and that's like because it is like it's that is a line you should not be crossed yeah. unsolicited dick pics are completely out of order so we're not saying like just put up with it but we're saying like if you feel like you can accept that side of the platform, which does exist, then you could discover this whole other side of the platform. Very quickly, yeah. yeah. And the other thing I would say, like, in terms of the, like, uh, like, not sure about gay sex stuff, is, like, obviously porn. But also... We discussed this also in another episode, so sorry yes. to do this. So we're kind of, we're either repeating ourselves or also... Um, you should have a look at a couple of our episodes from, like, I think two episodes ago or something? Yeah, not yeah from one of our um, live shows. So it'll be one of the outside videos, but we cover a similar situation about someone who is LGBT in a rural area and is like having anxiety about yeah. being uh, gay and how to be gay. And we do talk about this, but yeah, like if you, and if porn is too much for you, like movies with like gay plot lines, see how you feel about them, see how like, you know, like, call me by your name, obviously. Like, and also erotica, like, I know that's a bit uncool nowadays, but like- Seriously, erotica, what happened to good old I mean, erotica? I discovered my queerness through reading Harry Potter gay, fan fiction and yeah. I've never looked back like erotica yeah so there is also like if like gay porn is maybe like a bit too uh, immediate for you like reading some like sexy romance story maybe with your favorite tv character in it or whatever like there are other ways of like seeing how you feel sexually like I like oh does this turn me on does that turn me on like yeah absolutely and I know what you're saying that like okay so you say you know your friends are great but none of them are like LGBT LG- I, I just say queer. Uh, so, but uh, some LGBT. This is really T embarrassing. Plus. This is really embarrassing. I've been like, I'm not like some shady BBC presenter that can't actually pronounce it. It's like, I have been legitimately <laughs> using this this acronym for like over decades. So this is really embarrassing. I'm not that annoying, straight girl. And I'm. I also cover my not that straightness in, yes. other, in other bits of the. Yeah. Not quite acronyms, but this is like, But um, LGBT. Q plus. I know it's also my English, but it's also the gear problem. Um, oh my god, what is uh, that some people don't like the word queer. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it was about the friends, as in like, <laughs> hey, oh. so yeah, perhaps they are not of that community, but like, I think something to be said about like being like, hey, pay straight, pay some of your straight dividends, like accompany me to this event. Yes, you and know also what I mean? like, like, if, you if you're gonna be a good ally, yeah, and if you have a crush on someone who is like a man that being able to talk about that with your friends and like because like I tell Marianne if I have a crush on a woman like she's not gonna see me and relate but like she'll be like oh my god it's a crush let's talk about this like <laughs> not only do our um do our a taste for men differ our taste for women differ yeah so yeah much. everything <laughs> if nothing in common so we're like yeah I'll be supportive of you and yeah I'll judge you on the inside yeah, as yeah, I'm like why that absolutely <laughs> I mean I do the same it's yeah. fine <laughs> Like, I'm glad you're happy, but really? <laughs> but that's great because we're never into the same people. So no, so it, works. actually, that's why we're. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so I don't know, like uh, something to be said about them actually showing some support. Yeah, if they up. choose actively not to. And also, like, if someone is going to like a gay bar with someone as as a, like a straight friend, I do not, by the way, think that's not acceptable. Like when I was saying earlier about like a, a straight oh, yeah, people going yeah, yeah. to spaces, I mean, if a straight couple is making out in a very straight way in a queer space, that's not cool. If like a straight person wants to go to somewhere because their queer friend wants that support, that's being a good ally. Like, yeah. you know, they're not going to go to a gay bar and be straight. That would be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But also, like, don't fall in. Don't fall for the entirety of like 
but we have also called out a lot of time to sort of like the, 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 the clear aesthetic that can be a bit overwhelming like be by however you want to be by yeah like, don't feel like you have to wear a rainbow t-shirt now if you don't no, want to no 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 be yourself you know like again again yeah just hopefully we can bit by bit acknowledge that everyone you know that there are different ways of being by like someone i know that is like i don't know just to be like metal dude you know just usually like wears metal metal t-shirts like piercings all of the stuffs you know like by as fuck but like the sort of the elitist london queer scene we've never seen no no, no 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 oh away. and because it's like really mask like kind yeah. of like built up as well just, couldn't possibly no of course of course and yeah. so don't fall for that shit because like if you do fall like you will do it for a couple of yeah. years you will lose identity they will break you eventually and you have a nervous breakdown yeah not that i'm talking about anything now anyone that would know no, but like i've also had that like anxiety like where you know as like a kind of like femme appearing woman like i am often like red and straight because i don't have shave size and a nose ring and a wear pad yeah. like and if you want to do those things that's great and that's a totally yeah, valid yeah, entry sure, but sure, if sure, you don't sure. want to fucking don't like yeah your sexuality is not defined by your outfit, which sounds like an absurd thing to have to say, but yeah. like... And I just want to last note, there are a bunch of really cool Facebook groups um, that are very, uh, like, politically good, kind of queer-centric, and not just, like, gay man gay. A few I could think of is... Um, my bisexuality just took a hard straight turn. Also, my bisexuality just took a hard gay turn. Are both great groups. We can totally put that on yeah. show notes as well. And um, I'm going to fling these, those gatekeepers into the sun. Is a great group all what, about. What, what? I want to fling those gatekeepers into the sun. It's about people that gatekeep who gets to be ah, in events. Like, yeah, oh, wow. asexual people aren't part of the pride. Like, uh, aren't part of the action. Like, fuck off. Or like, you know, bisexual people should not be acting so straight. Fuck off. It's like a very good, like, supportive group of That's expressing great. it however you want. So there are a bunch of really good Facebook groups. We will put them in the show notes on nice this one. video. Yeah. Along with sure. the other video we do on a similar topic. We also linked to, but we'll remember. So, yeah, do check out the other video we do on a similar issue. It's also legend, man. Like you came out, well done, well done. Mm -hmm. I know it's it's gonna be difficult as fuck, like, and yet, yeah. you know, like I I don't know. Again, coming from Eastern Europe, where people are still like, well, even to here as well, like people still get lynched over this and mm. that sort of stuff, and it's just well, not lynched. Lynch is, is a very specific word. I don't, I didn't mean to use it, but like, it hurts yeah. in very very severe ways. Um, that's you know more people are coming out and also looking at like different cultures like i don't know it's all, it's all you know i saw like our, i'm not gonna say where we live but our, our locality um outside the town hall there's a thing saying uh our locality is going to pride and our locality has an lgbtq youth group and like want to and this is like we're really, in like a really small quite um not hip part of london and there are stuff going on here as well, which are like specific to this area, which I thought was super cool. Yeah. And one last note I want to say on the like being scared of the sex thing. The first time I slept with a woman, I sucked. I was super drunk. I didn't know what I was doing. Luckily, she was like um, straight, so she had never slept with a woman before either, so she didn't know that I was terrible. But like, you will get better. And if, and if you find a partner who is like patient enough to teach you, which I managed to find afterwards, you will get better quickly and get the rewards of seeing them come, which is awesome. Like, so yeah everyone starts somewhere i have only been sleeping with uh, women for three years so i started when i was yeah 22 so you're not slow you're not behind like happy coming happy coming out yeah happy pride <laughs> happy good pride. luck let us know how it goes yes please thank, thank you yeah.